This is where I work. Um, this is our factory. Uh, this is the place that we build humanoid robots. Uh, robots to behave and look like people. All the robots are almost like children, really. You send them out into the world, they go off and they do their jobs. These robots are designed for communication, for entertainment, for talking to people, behaving like people. Hi there. Just having a quick check-up to make sure everything is in working order. Affirmative. Most robots you've seen today have been what's called statically stable. That is, they don't fall over if they stop. They're always in a pose where they could stop at any moment and they're still stable. The classic one would be Asimo. And you notice that Asimo always walks like this. Dynamic robots are about jumping about and moving like people, and that's what we're interested in. We're interested in walking as a form of talking. It's walking as communication. It's not walking to go to the shops and get a paper, to walk around your house and get you a beer out of the fridge. It's walking because that's what people do, and we want our robots to behave like people. If the robot can follow you around, if it can come up close and press its nose against yours, that's a very powerful experience for somebody and, and that's what we're interested in exploring and that's why we want our robots walking. And what we're really interested in is how minimal can you actually make a humanoid. So we've cut it right down to, he basically has three what we call moving axis. Uh, that's roll, pitch and yaw to robot nerds. Uh, but it's, it's the kind of movements that you need in your head for, for expression. Uh, we've developed a, an internal projection system, so it's basically a projected image onto a face. We're lucky that new sort of Pico projector technologies come along that's made that possible on a, on a reasonable budget. So we're trying to exploit creating something that's very emotive, engaging, so it must make eye contact with you. It, it must look at you when you walk past. Uh, you must feel like it's engaged with you. Sort of application we see for Sociobot, airport lobby, something like that. You walk past, robot looks at you, hello, you know. Where are you going? Are you lost? Are you looking for your plane? <laughs> I made my first robot when I was about 12 years old. It was a thing with two wheels and it scuttled off under the bed with a felt tip pen and coloured the carpet in purple. Uh, I've always enjoyed making things move and I like bringing mechanical things to life. It's about discovering the nature of what humanity is really, what it is to be human, what it is to be alive. What is it about the way we behave? Is it the way we look? Is it the way we move? Personally, I feel it is much more about the way we move that defines us as, as human. I'm singing in the rain What a glorious feeling I'm happy again